Here with middleweight Omar Abanil, uh, one and oh. Uh, Omar, how you doing today? Doing well, thank you, Damien. Looks like uh, you know you're in preparation for your fight coming up in uh, a little over a week uh, at the Alacap Pavilion. You see your second fight here in Tampa in your hometown, your home turf, uh, promoted by All Star Boxing. Talk about how training camp's been going and your preparation uh, leading up to the fight uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. Uh, training camp's fantastic. Um, it's only it's only been about a month and a half since my last fight, so I still have some of that conditioning going in. I feel like I'm going to be a lot better prepared for this next fight, even more than last time. Uh, things are going really well so far. Can't complain. you really been having some top-notch sparring uh, leading up to this fight. Uh, veteran local fighter Ashanti Gibbs uh, has been cracking it in the ring with you. Talk about how that preparation's been going. Uh, that's great work. I know if I can get in there with him, it doesn't even matter who I fight next. Um, definitely really good work. You know, in the first fight, you know, in the beginning, first two, three rounds, it looks like a little butterflies, but you were able to settle down and land your punches and pretty much dominate the fight the rest of the way. Talk about your evaluation in your pro debut and how you think it went. I was really nervous that fight. Um, so nervous. I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to want to go through it again. But after that first bell ring, I knew that's where, I, that's where my home is. Got the butterflies out. It had been three years since I fought. Yeah, after I, found my, I finally started getting comfortable in the last round. But that, that zone, I'm going to carry it on into this next fight. And you know, fighting under the banner of uh, Telemundo, um, Duto Savala and uh, Ruben De Jesus, uh, All Star Boxing Incorporated, has given you this opportunity. Talk about this opportunity that you've been given to fight your second pro fight in the Alaka Pavilion. Uh, I'm really grateful for it. Um, they're, they're, wor they're working with me and keeping me busy, uh, getting me matches, uh, just really helping me do what I love to do. I'm very grateful for it, for it. Thank you, Telemundo, All Star Boxing, everyone associated. You know, talk about um, you know fight night. You know, talk about what 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 are you doing and prepare to bring it to the table uh, against your opponent and uh, how are you feeling. Um, this this next fight, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be myself. Do everything that I have been taught to do. Eat a lot of vegetables. Always like that. Um, pretty much just be dominant in every single aspect and not get hit, which is the basic boxing at its basic form. You know, the, the fan support has been growing as we speak. You know, talk about your fans and talk about how the fans have been embracing you since uh, the bell ring, your last fight. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, it had, like I said before, it had been three years since my last fight. Some people thought I was finished, might have retired, but I've still been in the gym. I was injured, but the, uh, the support since my last fight has been incredible. Nothing I could have ever expected, um, but it is real. And I, th I thank everyone, and hopefully it keeps growing. You know, I'm supporting Tampa, and I hope Tampa supports me. We thank you very much, Omar, for this interview, and we'll see you October 3rd at the Alaka Pavilion Fight Night. All right, thank you, Damon.